Heyo everybody, Haku here with my review for Monster Musume no Iru Nichijou or Everyday Life with Monster Girls or Daily Life with Monster Girls. I'm not sure which it is because I've seen it both ways written on, I think, official stuff. So yeah, I'm actually not sure what the proper English translation of the title would be. But either way, um, yeah, the chapter 53 of the chapter was really, really good, and despite it being really, really good, I still somehow managed to have some mixed feelings here and there. Uh, not so much on the quality of the chapter, but on some of the story decisions made, I guess? I don't know. Um, basically, I do not trust this company. Do not trust it at all. Uh, the factory setup, for me seems too hentai-ish and before I know I know we're reading Master Musume there's a lot of fan service a lot of sketchy situations uh, but it just feels like neto dare um, I, don't, I don't know it it feels way too uh, hentai-ish it seems like the premise that you would see in a hentai manga um, also this may be just me being picky, but the uh, girls, we get so many good designs here, and it's like a positive, we get so many good designs, turned into a negative of I feel like since we're not going to see them anymore, the designs were wasted, but maybe I'm being too picky and stupid even, because, I mean, shouldn't we want even the background designs to be good? And I mean, Okiato draws good designs no matter what anyway. I that was like all the negative out of the way before I talk about the rest of the chapter in a positive light. And basically, like I said, the negative wasn't really on the chapter as much, it was just picky personal stuff really. But either way, let's move on to talking about the actual good things, which was the actual chapter itself, part by part so I don't forget anything. Uh, starting off, we had the cover. The cover was nice, uh, pretty simple standard uh, on Musu cover. It was nice. Uh, also, a second part soon is mentioned, so I'm assuming that means we're going to get 54 soon, or else there's going to be a second part to 53, in which case I will I will do a review of it however it comes out. Um, but yeah, either way, I'm glad to hear that, I mean, the next one should be coming soon-ish. Uh, but Kudus and the rest are at Black Lily Advanced Materials Laboratory. Sorry I had to look over, I just had to make sure I got that name right. Uh, but Kudus is there with Saria, Mia, and Lala's body. Um, apparently they left without Smith as well. It was funny seeing Smith show up at their house only for uh, Mero and Poppy to be like, nah, they're not here anymore. Uh, Mia brings up that uh, the, the illegal broker, the uh, word on the street is that the illegal broker that's been letting these extra species in uh, also forces extra species to work like slaves in a, fa in a facility. So uh, maybe this is what that is. So Saria gets very, very into trying to rescue them all and take down this facility, uh, as with her uh, knight complex as usual. And uh, bonus points to the translation this this time around, because it was actually the knight speak was on point. All of the uh, the way Centauria speaks was very, very funny this time around. Um, and I mean, usually that's handled well, but I don't know. Just in particular, reading back through it or listening to me do it when I was editing the live reaction, I uh, I really liked it this this time around. I almost want to say this month, but I mean, it really isn't every single month usually. But either way, uh, poor horsewife's neck, Centauria getting uh, just completely whiplashed by Ragnera. I thought the panel was funny as well with the horse legs sticking up in the air and everything. Uh, so Ragnar is here, and so is the president of this place, who is untrustworthy as hell. I just do not trust this man. Uh, they enter the sketchy waifu labs, and collections is happenings, and uh, they're taking wool and leaves and different things from different monster girls, and it just seems so, so sketchy, and I don't trust it whatsoever. We see Kira is there selling venom, Kino spores, and of course Kyuri, her saliva slash the vampire disease virus whatever that's in the saliva uh so we have some lewd shedding some anura lotion uh, i really like the anura design it kind of made me want to have an actual anura character um but either way moving along we see another sexy spooter this arachne is giving giving rachnera a run for her money when it comes to attractiveness i like the stripes i liked the long hair um so yeah this spooter was really 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 good uh, then royal jelly, of course, being extracted from a honeybee, which, as you know, is one of my favorite species. So, I mean, a honeybee character would be cool as well. Even though we had Kira, 
And honestly, there'd be nothing wrong with Kira if it wasn't for that thing on her chin. Whatever that thing on her chin is just kind of brings the design down a lot for me. Still don't quite get it. Um, either way, we find out that the girls that work there have to, or come in through the illegal broker, have to pay back their um, immigration fee to the broker. Uh, but it's hard to get a job out there, so most of them just do the collection lab stuff. And after they pay it back, 70% of them keep working for the lab. But it is still sketchy to me because there's still stuff that doesn't quite make sense. And it, th the setup is there for it to just be really, really wrong. Um, also, yeah, some of the stuff to bring up. We see Sue, but where's Lala's head? Lala's head's in the mix here somewhere. I mean, her body also wandered off at some point during the chapter. Um, and also, why do they want the slime creature and to capture it? A lot of things that are very, very sketchy are going on, and I don't trust them whatsoever. Uh, Smith finally shows up, lays down the law on them a bit. Uh, Kurus unknowingly saved Rachnera from going to live there because she was going to call them when in trouble before, but that's when he showed up and everything, and it all worked out. Uh, she gets a little bit tsundere with him, which is cool. It's extra characterization, something we don't see like super, super often with Rachnera. Um, also, we find out that she went there to them and agreed to meet with them in order to get information on the three extra species people that came in before, which is why she had masks ready for when Kino got there, or when she knew that Kiro would be uh, going after Kurus and Saria in the woods. So, uh, yeah, that, that explains all of that, and I really didn't think that would actually be important or have a real explanation, so it was really cool and good writing that it did. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. Uh, then we get my new, one of my new favorite lines and panels in the entire manga. Done. Sue is going home now. Out of way. Um, so yeah, that was great. And the reunion was amazing as well. Just Kurus and Sue's faces seeing each other again. Sue, you're okay. I'm okay. And then running and hugging each other. I thought it was great. I loved that so much. Uh, so yeah, pretty much Sue was captured on accident when the accident when they were trying to go capture the big monster thing that she released. Uh, they have on film that she did release it, and they want Kudusa's group to catch it for them. Um, yeah, so they're gonna have to go catch it, but I have a feeling this place is going to be sketchy and have kidnapped the creature or something. So they're going to talk to the creature, the creature's going to be like, yo, the lab is sketchy, and then they're going to work with the creature to take down the lab. Almost kind of like a repeat of the, um, yeah, almost like a complete repeat of the little arc we had with the mermaids and everything, where they were sent by the mermaid people to go try to stop Oct, and then Oct says the mermaids aren't on the up and up, so they have to go take down Mero's mom. Pretty much a repeat of that arc, except with the slime instead of Oct, and this company instead of the mermaids. But either way. Uh, chapter as a whole, things I didn't really say, just general stuff. I did think it was really, really funny. Um, I loved Sue and Saria here. I, like I said, I do not trust the president or the lab at all. Uh, I thought there were some good designs, and a part of me thinks they might be wasted, but the more I say that, the more I'm like, I'm just being picky and stupid. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, because even the background design should be good, but I, j I just feel so disappointed that I see this spider character and I feel like I'm not going to ever see any more of the character. Same with the Inura, the Honeybee, all the others, um, when I would like to see them more characterized, even like the side characters. Like, I love seeing characters that we've seen already, like when we get a chapter where Draco is important or a chapter where Lilith is important or uh, I'm just using them, them as examples, Key or Polt, any of them, uh, If whenever we get chapters where they come back in or are important for that chapter, or even if the chapter focuses on them, I love when that happens. So uh, I always look for more characters like that that uh, sort of join into the recurring character pile of characters or whatever. Um, and that's kind of what I'm like... What I'm on the fence about, because I loved all three of the bloodsuckers and all the little side stuff that was in the volume Omake with them, and uh, all the interaction they had with Kurus and the others, but they don't have names or anything, so I'm like, they live with Kyuri, and we've seen Kyuri recur twice already in minor roles, so, or just kind of cameos, really. So, to see those three recur in cameos, or even get more important, I really hope for that. Uh, that's terribly off-topic, but, um... Yeah, I mean, it's not too often I get to talk about Monmusu, 
So yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling. I I hope we see those characters again. I hope we see some of the characters from here again. Like, um, I highly doubt any, any of the characters from here will be important, but if that other Arachne does show up as like a cameo here and there, or the same with the Inura, it'll be cool. Especially, we don't know, because we don't know how this arc is going to go. If they do take down this place, if this place is sketchy, we don't know how many other characters that's going to lead them to connect with. Uh, and of course we did see all of the uh, like happy girls willingly working there being like, hey Prez, what up? But even though the, they're living and working there and liking it, there could always be the secret underground aspect where they're holding the uh, ones they're experimenting on, like say, um, like wherever they're holding Lala's head, or uh, the uh, where they were planning to put the slime creature. So there's still a lot more to see, I feel. Either way, for this chapter as a whole, though, I did think it was good. I thought it was funny. The art was good as always. Uh, but there, there were some eh things, but even the eh things, it's not like... It's not like the chapter was doing anything wrong. It's more just my personal feelings on it. So personally, time to give it a score. I thought it was good, so I'm definitely giving it a good score of... 7.5 really sketchy collection laboratories out of 10. 7.5 out of 10, thought it was good. Hope you thought it was good as well. Um, like if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of this chapter, what you thought of my thoughts on it and all that. Really excited to get to the next one. Um, also comment down there if you want to link to our Discord server and I will give you one of those as well. Um, subscribe for more, Mon Musu very much more on the channel. We're covering more Monster Girl series. Uh, with our elf-san, well, Yasirada and I read through. Uh, Centaur and Naomi's anime is going on right now. So, lots of stuff like that if you're interested in Monster Girls, which you probably are if you're watching this. Uh, and lastly, I guess, follow on Twitter if you want, and I'll try to keep you updated there and start for the channel or talk to you there. Uh, either way, though, that is it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.